Hey guys, Keith here, getting ready to play a game. Chess.com. Ooh, this looks like a tough opponent. 1026. Rating. This would be a nice win. Not, I'm not going to hold my breath though. Although, I am drinking Red Bull, so I'm not sure if it's fair for him. Not sure if you guys knew, but Red Bull gives you wings, so. I played a couple games today already. I won them, luckily, but um, let's pay attention here. I won the games, but they were kind of sloppy. Still, I'll always take a win. See what we're doing here. Hmm. Might lock it up in the middle. If we pin that knight, maybe we can get that pawn, but I doubt it. All right, develop, develop, develop. Fight for the center, protect your king. Try to keep your bishop pair if possible. Pay attention to loose pieces. Try not to block your C pawn. I think we win a piece here, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to think of all the different um, tips and tricks. I feel like I know enough. I'd be winning more games, but um, knowing the theory and putting it into practice are two different things. Okay, yeah. Develop the pieces. Get some coordination between them. Look at your trades. Make sure you're getting compensation for your trades. Look for a pawn break when you're ahead in development. Protect undefended pieces. All that good stuff. Well, now what? I don't want to create some weird garbage opening right off the bat, but um, he just unpinned the knight. So I'm thinking I should just take this bishop here. It does help him develop the queen. But we do get the bishop pair, and it saves me uh, from losing tempo by having to move back. So, the other thing we could do is we could take the knight here. Maybe he takes with the bishop, and then we take his bishop, he takes here, doubling his, um, doubling his pawns. I don't know, what's better? It's a tough question. So I guess here, here are the moves that I'm... Here are the moves I'm thinking about. Sorry, I was also looking what happens if I take this. He would take with the king, gets his king out in the open. 
I don't know. I don't think that's realistic. Okay, so my candidate moves are retreat, take the bishop, get the bishop pair, or take the knight and double his pawns. So hard to say really which is better for me. Yeah, hard to decide. I guess I just have to decide. I can't goof around too long. Yeah, he's he's hitting me up for He's saying hurry hurry up. I'm saying sorry, tough decision, man. I think I'm going to go for the messing up the pawns. I don't know. So he gets to keep the bishop pair, but his um, pawn structure is a little messed up. And then I lose tempo by having to come back. I'm going to come all the way back here. I don't know, was that good compensation or not? We are still up a pawn, so that's nice. The other move could have been taking the bishop. So, yeah, this would be one of those things. It'd be nice to have a coach or someone that could let me know which one was, what was the best move there. I guess I can look on Stockfish, but I don't know. I kind of, Stockfish just tells you the answer. I kind of like to know the thought process behind it. We'll see how it plays out. I like this guy's icon. I noticed a couple people, they got some pretty cool icons where they, they're circles, and I guess they made the the rest of the square match the gray background, so, you know, it just shows up as a circle. It's kind of cool. Those really stand out. I tried to play a couple games on Lee Chess. Hadn't really played much on there before, but... Huh. Seems like kind of an odd move, doesn't it? What happens if I go here? That just me, or does that seem like an odd move? I'm gonna go here. Oh, if I go here, then he, what? Puts me in check, then move here. I don't know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go here. It just looks right. I could castle too. I'm gonna try to castle soon. I guess he goes there, then I'm gonna come here. Yeah, anyway, I was trying to play on Lead Chess. I downloaded the app on my phone, but it was buggy. I, I had a situation where it showed the opponent's time running out, so I waited like eight minutes for the opponent's time to run out. It went down to zero, and, and nothing happened. It didn't say game one or anything like that. Okay, I gotta quit babble and pay attention. I think I'm just going to go ahead and castle here. So anyway, I, thought, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Their time was out. It didn't say anybody won the game, so I hit the back button. And when I hit back, all of a sudden it showed my time was running out. It switched. And my time was running out, and I was like, what the heck is going on here? And then it showed them having made a move. So, I don't know. It was a bit buggy. Okay, I've got this guy trapped in here. I need to keep developing. Oh, 
what have we got going on here? Hmm. He's got all these kind of eyeing everything, so, and he can jump in there. Well, I do have that covered right there, I guess. So, what happens if I come here? Kind of interested in that. If I push C5, he takes, I can take here. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to try that. Opens things up a bit. Yeah, anyway, the lead chest was a little bit buggy for me. So then I tried it on the computer and I finally did end up getting a game working on the computer, but it seemed like there was an issue with that too. The first game I tried on there showed a person as an opponent, but then nothing ever happened. I was just sitting there waiting for them to play and they never played and they never gave me a message or anything. So I feel like the chess.com software is a little bit better from my first try at Lee Chess. However, the reason I was trying Lee Chess in the first place I think about taking here because I want to keep their pawns doubled. Well, I guess they don't have to stay doubled. He, I go here. Huh. I didn't even think about that. I just figured he would take. If I take here, it comes with tempo on that guy. I think I should take. I take here. What's he going to do? Take back. Then I take here. If he was to take here, I would take here. So I'm going to try that. Anyway, the reason I was trying to lead chess is because I've been running into a bunch of bozos here on chess.com that are, one, either they're cheating. I gotten a lot of people caught cheating and two they're stalling or her you know saying stupid stuff in the chat so trying to figure out how to solve that it's tricky I have a feeling the higher up you go at the writing ladders the less bozos you run into that may not be true but um, that's my suspicion so I thought I guess my best chance of uh, not running into bad sports, people with bad sportsmanship, would be to raise my rating. I think chess.com should do some training or something for, um, for sportsmanship before people can start playing. Maybe they just, maybe nobody ever taught them. Maybe their parents never taught them good sportsmanship, or maybe they never played sports at school where a coach taught them, or, you know. Maybe they never had anyone in their, uh, in their life to give them any, you know, good guidance. Well, obviously not, because otherwise they wouldn't be acting like fools. Okay, so... Focus here. This is really starting to open up, isn't it? What can we do? Well, I can take. Is there something else we can do that's better? I wonder.
I was looking at coming here. Going after that bishop. If I could take, he takes. And then I could come here. That might be the way to go. I'll try that. Yeah, anyway, I'll stop complaining about it, but um, it's just disappointing running into people that don't have any good sportsmanship. I was actually thinking maybe I'd just start playing the computer. If it, get, if it gets bad, or if I can't improve my rating enough to to outrun the bozos, then I might just have to start playing the computer. Hope not. Seems like we're doing all right so far. I don't know. We're up two. Just gotta keep developing. Keep keep our pieces protected. I mean, he's almost got all his pieces out there, though, so we do have some pawns, but all our pieces are still kind of trapped. Trying to look and see what my different options are for getting my pieces out or maybe attacking somehow. I could run into some problems here, that rook getting uh getting trapped back there, so got to try to watch out for that. Can't really bring my knight there right now, because otherwise I trap the king, I mean queen. Maybe I can bring my knight out this way, try to sneak my bishop out this way or something. I don't know. I got I to gotta clean up this mess over here. Now he's the one going through a long think. But I'm not going to rush him. That's why I play the 30 minute games. So that you can take your time and try to think it through. You know, that's the advice I hear from all the the good YouTube, uh, the good players that are on YouTube. They keep saying that. Play the longer time frames. I 
Okay, what can we do here? Could bring the rook here. What else? Could get the knight out, hitting the queen hitting the queen. Hmm. What do you think? Knight out, developing a piece, hitting the queen, bring the rook over. Hitting the queen. What's that queen threaten anyway here? which isn't currently an, an issue, or here. I think taking the knight out, it develops a piece and hits the queen, so kind of feel like that's a two for one, right? I guess he probably anticipated that, but what's his response going to be? Now I don't have to worry as much about my rook because I have a, I can scoot it over here if I need to. Yeah, so still going to look to see if we Now what happens if I move here? I'm attacking that bishop with the knight and the queen. That seems good. What else can I do? Oh, what else? That's not good. Come here, getting ready for that. Hmm. Tough call. I think I will. Nope, I can't bring it over. Yeah, I can bring it over here. If I, I was thinking if I bring it over here, then he can come get me there. but I can take back. I'm going to try that. Seems like we ought to get something else out of this, but maybe not. I just want to get on with development as soon as possible. Thursday here in Australia. Looking forward to the weekend. Hoping I'll have some more time to play on the weekend and Keep clawing my way back to the thousand rating. That's my current main goal. 
work my way through some more lessons on chess.com. I think I'm like halfway through the intermediate lessons. Those lessons are great, I think. They're short and to the point. It's pretty helpful. I also just started watching um, the Ginger GM on YouTube. I like uh, I like watching the, the first couple of videos I watched of him. I, I really like it. He does a good job of explaining the thought process through all those different moves. So he's got a good personality. It's fun, it makes it fun to watch. Seems like um, you, you can learn a lot by watching his videos. We'll see. That seems kind of odd. Why would he do that? Can't I just take there? He takes here. I take there, or am I missing something? What's this threaten? This threaten's coming here, but I have that protected, right? So if I take this piece, he takes back. I feel like that's just, um, I feel like it's a free piece. Oh, let's check the Thunder game. Last I checked, they were um, they were winning. OKC Thunder, M NBA, it's my team. Yep, they won. They were playing the Nets. Let's see what their score is, or see uh, see the stats here. Let's see if Westbrook got another triple double. Gotta say, a lot, of, a lot of people don't like Westbrook. I love that guy. He plays with some passion. Okay. Yeah, he got a triple-double. 31 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists. Paul George looks like he's back at it with 25 points, so... Yeah. Thunder win. That's good. Something else, no. Oh. Just looking at the, he's got that. Whoops. I gotta be careful clicking around. I've had um I've had a couple instances where I had some accidental mouse slip moves. Okay, he's coming after my queen now. What can we do about that? Well, since we are up material, we could just go for uh, go for a trade. I could also just take that. If I take there, and he takes there, then I just... I think that's a win, isn't it? I think that's another piece one, if I'm not mistaken. Keep feeling like I'm missing something. Don't think he can do anything about that. Yeah, now we're up eight. Now I should start trading trading down if I can and see if I can't um, 
turn this into a win. I think I said in my last video, I still have trouble converting the win, even after I get up a good amount of pieces. Seems like I struggle with the converting the win. Come on now. Well, that develops a piece. Then what? It's got this queen out in the middle, kind of blocking everything. Throwing a check there and then he moves out of the way. Then what would I want to do next? If he moves out of the way, what would I do with my queen? Still have to put it somewhere. Could come over here, put a check, and then come here with a rook. Let's do that. It's kind of wanting to bring this rook out though. Huh, it's interesting. I better not move too fast here. I better pay, try to pay close attention to what I'm doing. Really need to get this bishop out of the way, coordinate my rooks. Also, I don't have to worry about it right now, but probably not a bad idea to move this up. Keep myself from getting back ranked or something like that. Helps me to get this out of the way. Get this out and then bring my rook over. That's not good for him, I don't think. Because he can't move this. It's pinned. Okay, so we've got to trade down a little bit. That's nice. Now, move this out. Let's bring this other rook over. We're keeping that his other pieces pinned there, so that's nice. He's basically got just the queen to run around with. If we get this rook over and he moves his queen out of the way, then that's game over. 
see if we can make that happen. We got a good attack going here, but would be nice to get this up so I don't have to worry about back rank. Thinking about just doing it so I, one less thing to worry about. Now I can move this back here, keep him from sneaking out. Let's see where he goes with that queen. So if we go here, hmm. Threatening my bishop. I think I'm going to just go ahead and move this. Hmm. Interesting. What can I do here? Could go here. Looking to trade the queens. Not only that, if he doesn't trade, oh, what to do? What to do? come here and then if he comes all the way here it's not checkmate right because I can come here and block it isn't that right man I I hate to make a mistake right here at the end but it's hard to even trust what I'm seeing because sometimes I miss some things but it seems like if I come here with my rook he could try to come here I could just block he still can't take that rook if he takes there I just take what else can he do I'm going to try it. Really hope I'm not messing something up. But it feels like I ought to be able to get checkmate with this. Come in here. I'm actually nervous right now. <laughs> I feel, I feel nervous that I'm missing something. Okay, that's what I thought might happen. And... Oh, you know what he could do? Could move there. Try to sneak out, sneak out the back. But we still ought to be able to chase him down, I think. Man. 
I feel like we're close. But now I've trapped one of my pieces there. Got this guy out of the action. Let's see what we can do. If I'm seeing this right, I feel like the only the only move he could really do to try to help himself out, I think, is just to move the king here. Then when I come in, he sneaks out over here. And then I would go here, and then he comes here. Yeah, then it's a mess of me trying to chase him around, which I'm horrible at. But, I don't know, at that point we would have still four pieces on the board, right? And he'd have the queen, so I'd be able to um, make that work. Well, he hasn't given up. When I was watching the Ginger GM YouTube videos yesterday, he was saying, you know, with Grandmasters, one of the things they make you do is oftentimes you have to beat them more than once in the same game because they don't give up. They keep trying for the win. So I think that's a good lesson. You know, might as well do the same thing when you're just learning. I think that's game over. Nope. There we go. Yes! Got the win. That was a tough one. Oh, he wants a rematch, but I'm going to decline. Sorry, buddy. It's a good game. He said good game, and I hit him back with a good game. Hopefully he saw that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's uh, analyze it and see what it looks like. Ex excited about that win. That was a nice one. I like I played all right on that one. Yeah, good game. Let's see what we missed. Yeah, so good on him for uh, continuing it all the way till the end. I'd like to play with people like that more often. He had good sportsmanship, had a good game. You know. Put a lot of thought into his play, it seemed like. Stuck it out to the end. Had a cool icon. I told you, this Red Bull gave me the edge. Alright, let's see what we got. Black, 21 excellent moves, 3 good, 2 inaccuracies, 0 mistakes, and 1 blunder. That's a pretty good game for me. It's one of my... Uh, Better set of stats. Let's 
see what the blender was. On that one that says the better move is d5. Was I considering that? I can't remember. I think maybe I was considering that. But one of the reasons why I don't like doing that sometimes is because they come forward and then it locks up the position. Not a big fan of locking up the position. And this worked out actually, pinning this guy and then stealing that pawn. Well, I guess we got lucky. That's that's kind of, I mean, I put it there on purpose for that, right? But it was a little bit of hope chess because he could have gotten out of that still. He could have come there. Anyway, moving on. Okay, he blundered there. We got to get the free pawn. Our next inefficiency. It says a better move was knight d2. Okay. Hey, that's right. We were going over that, trying to figure out which one. Whoops. Sorry about that. Trying to figure out which one was the better move, to take the knight or to take the bishop. <laughs> of course, we chose to take the knight, and it says the best move was to take the bishop. So... At least we know now which one was the better move. I guess the uh, the only thing I need after that is some explanation as to why. Would be nice. Still worked out for us. Let's just kind of rush through this here. That was already a kind of a long game. Oh, lots of good moves here. He blunders with that. There's our blunder. Maiden won. What the heck? From winning to losing. What in the heck does that mean? Okay, it says the best move was bishop f6. Bishop f6. Should have come here. Oh my god. He missed a checkmate, and I didn't even see it. Unbelievable. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for him. That's unbelievable. Look at that. And we totally missed it too. Whoop. I was saying, oh, he could take that, but we can just take it back. No, we can't. He's got it. Yeah, oh, that makes me feel that makes me feel bad here. I was happy about the win, but it looks like we were pretty we were toast. We were beat. His I hope he analyzes this game and sees that that he had the win. Yeah, beginner chess there. I've done it myself plenty of times. I talk about it. he had checkmate and won. Yeah, that was game over. And we just lucked out. Okay, well, that was our main blunder. And it says right there, you know, that's our blunder, and we went from winning to losing. And not only that, but like, a lot of times it says winning to losing, but you're just losing some points. This is actually like, that was game over. Anyway, he missed it and moved back. And uh, then we were able to get the win. Wow. That... That is surprising. Okay, well anyway, that was our only mis that was our only mis that was our only uh, mistake the whole game. It just happened to be the one mistake that would have cost us the game. And we ended up getting the win. That's probably one of the more surprising things I've seen actually. 
Totally didn't even see that. Had a good game going and would have lost it in one. Been making good moves, would have lost it in one bad move, just like that. Nice chess for you, though. One bad move and you're out. And um, he missed it, fortunately for us, so he's going to be kicking himself on that one. All right, well, anyway, we got the win. It was sloppy because we uh, had that blunder where we basically would have lost the game, but as I always say, I'll take it anyway. So I've given away plenty of games like that myself, so it's good to get some get some back in the same manner. Anyway, if you watched, thanks for watching. Hopefully maybe you're learning something too, and uh, we'll keep the journey alive. Keep seeing if I can't climb that ratings ladder as uh that taking that from uh jb's channel anyway thanks guys see you next time